blackest kind, staged in the form of a satirical service of Thanksgiving with the Wildcat Theatre Company and performers who include David Anderson and Peter Capaldi. Bless my soul. is dear to our hearts and dear to our pockets and there's no such thing as a free lunch in the Savior's restaurant. Friends, it hurts. I know it hurts. But it's only doing you good if it hurts. And what the hell is a little pain when you know that you're slaying the dragon? There's a king, there's a king in the sky We will get there by and by Where the angel Gabriel will cry How's your kid with the Lord? Lift your talent
and the rain will room if you missed your payment the Lord I said the Lord just won't be impressed no way to the Lord say yes it'll cost you less and heaven Get yourself some credit with the Lord. Like the God. Listen, Mary said, you can have your tail man, but you need your checkbook in your hand. You have credit with the Lord. Get some credit with the Lord. Get some credit with the Lord. some credit with the Lord. Fine thoughts, fine music. But fine thoughts aren't always enough. In the words of Roger Miller, God didn't make the little green apples to sit in their bums all day. My fellow executives, our Torrithon target this week is one million redundancies. Already, since we came on the air this evening, an engineering works in Strathclyde has been in touch, offering to dismiss 500 workers by midnight with an offer of 5,000 more to follow by the end of the month. An American electronics firm has pledged to transfer its entire United Kingdom manufacturing operations to Singapore. We've had a call here from the Earl of Rugert. His grace tells us he's got an 87-year-old family retainer, crippled with arthritis in a tide house, who's looked after his wine cellar for over half a century. But not anymore. Praise the Lords. And if anyone else has any old servants or workmen in the attic they may have forgotten about, let us know. It all helps. And our star guests haven't been idle either. The song you're about to hear was originally recorded with over 200 highly skilled musicians. Tonight, it needs only eight. None of them are black, none of them disabled. Ladies and gentlemen, my very dear friend, Mr. Barry Fallon.
private detective I'm not too selective But I did it my way Hey, I got another note I changed the key I believe, I believe in the British Broadcasting Corporation, makers of Steptoe & Sons, and in political balance, wholesome entertainment and the pursuit of excellence. The nine o'clock news, the Queen's speech, and the Eurovision Song Contest. I even believe in the weather forecast, find Jim Davidson funny and never miss blankety blank. I believe in today, tonight, this week, tomorrow's world, and in Jimmy Savile, Jimmy Tarbuck, Jimmy Hill, Jimmy Young, Jimmy Riddle, Thingamajig, and the resurrection of the I Love Lucy show. I believe in Russell Grant, thousands wouldn't. I believe in miracles, it'll take one to save TV AM. I believe everything I hear in the news. I believe in Peter J, Robin Ray, Robin Day, what the papers say, and that's life ever after. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome Mr. America. Is your body just a tumor on the end of your mind? Is your mind just a cancer of your soul? Is your soul a disease of the ectile plant? Inflation of the ego. A inflammation of the libido Or bright light inside a black hole A transplant me back To the town where I was born Where the blood banks are all overdrawn And the kidney donors drink whiskey Please kill me quick after I'm gone You know sometimes When you're out there In the wide open spaces Just the kind of thinking about The human condition How the state of your mind and body Affects the people you come in contact with How the state of your collective minds and bodies affects the state of the state. Now the state of the state affects the state of all the other states. Now the state of all the other states affects the state of the nation. Now the state of the nation affects the state of the head of the head of the state. Now the state of the head of the head of the state affects the whole world. Friends, what a state the world is in today. Well, I tell you, there are going to be some changes made. We're going to have us some fun with a Bible and a gun. And we're going to put the whole world to rights, you know, with our own backyard. So help me, God, done it. Somebody and for peace. Babylon, the Lord of the gun Right here in the land of the free Where the cross of our Lord Lights up heaven so bright We don't have no fears For women, blacks, Jews, or queers Cause Jesus, he's working
Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this company and this corporation in holy monopoly, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between capital and the state. Amen. I require and charge you both that if either of you know of any just cause or impediment why you may not be joined together, I suggest you get a good lawyer. Amen. Wilt thou, Tobitso Mishibaka, have this company to be thine wholly owned subsidiary to rationalize, relocate, and dispose of as thou shalt please? <laughs> and wilt thou, the British Kettle Corporation, solemnly reassign thine assets and what is left of thine workforce in favor of this corporation from henceforth and forever? I will. Who giveth this company away? With this development grant, I thee wed, subject to contract. With my tongue, I thee worship. With all thy worldly goods, I do endow myself. Amen. Those whom the Department of Industry hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I used to sit and read 
If you can put your hand in your wallet and say, I'm no longer poor. I no look upon charity with charity. I put behind me all thoughts of equality. You think you can hide it, dude? Delusion, hypocrisy. What do you think you're fooling? Would a rich man wear a shirt like that? Pathetic. You, madam, who does your hair? Now, don't tell me. Let me guess. A homosexual, right? Disgusting. Let me hear some confessions. Will you shut up? I can't hear myself think! You buy. Come here. Have you sinned? Have I sinned? You bet your Gucci shoes I have. I've been one naughty boy. Started off before I was in nappies. National health milk, free arms, just that kind of thing. Believe me, friends, I guzzled that stuff like it owed me 11. And then there was no turning back. <laughs> Free school meals, you bet. Damn it, I even went to college on a grant. And then, you got it. The dole, both feet in the trough. Jacuzzi, jag parked outside the council house, color telly. But my life was empty. And why was that, my son? You were never home, Dad. I was lonely. And that's when I started to hear the voices. Oh, no. Not the voices. Beep, beep. Hello? She may be pregnant, but I was I don't know. She looked a lot older. I never joined the union. That was just a joke that got out of hand. A cock crowing. I hear a cock crowing. No, not the tubers. Save me. I could face all these voices. Hello, Pluto. Save me, please. Not the Richard Clayderman tape. No surrender on your way to star now. Way. Where am I? Who are all these people? I was still in Kansas, Toto. Da da. Da da. Beep, 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 beep. Your time's up, son. Beep, 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 beep. What have we here? A cripple. A blind cripple. God, are we lucky tonight? What's your name, David? David. I want you to come with me up to the platform. This is great television. Come on. It's like what a sport. Have you paid for this? <laughs> if only he could see himself. <laughs> uh, that's a piano, David. Uh, just walk around it. Thank you. Are you getting this? Which camera? Are you? Are you getting this? Uh, oh, no, back here, David. Back here. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't this great? David, the stage is yours.
Thank you, David. Thank you. That was great. Isn't that great? Well, David, you know the rules? It's ordination time. Now, take your time, concentrate, and once the conveyor belt is stopped, everything you name will be yours. A monogrammed briefcase, hand-tooled in Taiwanese cockroach skin. A copy of High Life magazine. A combination pen watch, calculator, tie pen, and earwax extractor. A bottle of Grecian 2000. A bottle of hair dye remover. An elegant sterling silver replica of the Belgrano with matching torpedoes. A relaxing holiday for two on the sun-kissed beaches of Grenada. A generous share of the Irish racehorse, Shergar. A set of autographed toothpicks commemorating the 1983 general election. A whole Loch Boysdale salmon, marinated in 12-year-old Donegal malt whiskey, garnished with succulent Hampshire carrots and Duchesse potatoes, nestling in a crispy bed of Welsh lettuce and topped with an individual triangle of fresh Nicaraguan pineapple. And lastly, tonight's special prize, 39-year-old Russian dissident Ivan Botnovich, yours to take home after the show. David, you have seven seconds starting now. I'll take the type in the dissident and the fish supper, please. Congratulations, David, and bon appetit. Ivan, you've just arrived from Russia? I defecated just the other week. Ah, uh, you mean uh, defected? No, 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 defecated. I got my shit together and got out of there. So, welcome to freedom. Now, you're uh, 39 years old, born in Minsk, and until you leapt overboard from a Soviet cruise liner last month, you'd spent 17 years working as a bass guitarist with the successful Russian pop group, the Minsk Combo Big Band Sound. Da. And in fact, it was an ideological dispute with the band over the direction their music was taking that finally drove you to reject the tyrannies of state socialism and flee to the West. Da, da, da. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Ivan's going to sing for us one of his own compositions, a song which symbolizes the artistic censorship practiced by the Marxist state, the very song which he was forbidden to perform on that same cruise ship two weeks ago. Please welcome Mr. Ivan Botnovich. making the ground wet. And the sky is the color of gray clouds. The trees, the color of damp wood. The soil, moist, like mud. In the whole city, there is only one umbrella that works. And the other one has been taken in for questioning. A half million people and only one umbrella. Meth. Also in Minsk, 
I'm having no luck with the girls. And then one day, I hear the voice of America on the radio. I listen to Jan and Dean, the Beach Boys, Sam the Sham and the Ferris. Hey, man, holy golly, eh? Hey? All the sunshine, all the surf, two girls for every boy. It is almost like music to my ears. And I say, keep your meatballs. From me, from now on, only catfish pie, jambalaya, Billy Gumbo. California, here I come, baby. And I see myself, Brooks Brothers suit, lying under the boardwalk beside David Reynolds. She's like an animal with wanting me, but I say, no, tonight I must drive my Chevy to the levee. And she stands there naked. Except for the tattered red and so far, it's a bitsy, teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. And she says, Ivan, tell me one thing. Who put the bomb in the bomb, shibomb, shibomb? But I do not reply, because I am a ramen and a ding dong. And she cries, and in my head, I hear the words of the great poet Andropov. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. And I cry also. Goodbye to the gulag. Bucket of flowers, here I come. Gonna have lunch with Melvin Bragg. Gonna watch the record go to number one. Goodbye, Lubyanka. See me twisting on the disco floor. Bye bye, Max. Hi, Pomanka. Ain't gonna be a red square anymore. Oh, the other day and I saw this black guy. <laughs> Rubber lips. <laughs> Jungle Johnny. <laughs> anyway, he was eating in a restaurant <laughs> with a knife and fork. <laughs> and and then wait for it. He took out a napkin and wiped his face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a way I tell them you're a wonderful audience. <laughs> We're warming up now. Anyway, the other day, I met an Irishman. <laughs> he was sober. <laughs> and he told me, wait for it, wait for it. He told me he was looking for a job. <laughs> Here's a good one. You'll love this. There was this Pakistani. Come on, where are you? There was this Pakistani. <laughs> and this shop steward. <laughs> and this poof. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? <laughs> they were all vegetarians. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Last joke. Never fails. You're going to love it. My wife! <laughs>
sun shines on the limousine, but it's raining in my heart, and I don't give raw beans for all my work of art. The summer house, the gazebo. And I think of all those simple things that simple people do, like walking around unrecognized, or just standing in a queue. I have a dream, a dream that one day my people will be free, that there will soon come a day when our struggles will be over. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it doesn't really matter to me now. Because I've been to the mountain top, I won't mind. Like anybody else, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will, and he's allowed me to go up to the mountain, and I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not afraid of any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. When that judgment day arrives, some will die, some survive, some are needed. Some are not. Where are you gonna be when it gets hot? Some believe they can be spared. They're not scared. They're prepared. It's countdown to midnight. Are you ready? Number 10, there's a mother hen. Lays eggs only for gentlemen. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten billion. Golden eggs. She's got the gen. She knows when to head for the den. Take up zen. Maybe back to the countdown. White fella got it laid down. He's been cramming, gamming, salmon, having spam, dams and jamming. There's a famine, not for this dude. Come on. Rising fast is a blast from the past, all wired up to the TV mast. He's smiling. He's reading the news from the auto queue, telling you what to do. Stay home. Who's home? Not his. 
he's on the Isle of Skye. News of ten, it's him again, and Big Ben goes one, two, three, four, five, six. It's countdown. Now the six is fixed for a VIP. Who he? It's she and her husband. Check out the corgis dindings. Yes, mom, no, mom, to be back school, mom. And don't forget the doop dum. And the countdown. You and the charge is a man of parts with all the toys of the martial arts. He's a fixer. He'll fix you a gun or a call-out shot or timeshare. The weak get a week, and the stronger get longer. Oh, Minister Zero, remember Nero? Don't be a hero, forget your hero. Flying rockets, say. Suck to me, suck to me, suck to me, suck to me. It's getting closer. The, the countdown. countdown. Straighten the number three is the GRC from the MOD. A military gent with a military bent in the regional seat of government. And it's underground, way down, and there's no sound of the missiles. Meanwhile, number two. There's a boat on the pond in Regent's Park. The cuddy sark? No, Noah's Ark's gonna save the whale, save the shark. He's real concerned for the art part. That's ecology. No humans. Don't forget the boa, Noah. Don't forget the Looking after number one is a man with a gun, he's ready. For after all is said and done, when it gets hotter than the sun, and the white light says it's midnight, he's the one. Everybody, get down. Get down and stay down, that's the way we like you. Get down and stay down.
And if you thought that was outrageous... Any time now, it could turn into... Thursday. And what comes after Thursday? Why is your five called Ralph? After my boyfriend, actually. They're both rather fast. The all-new Renault 5. What's yours called? Ask 30 washing machine manufacturers which machine they'd recommend and you'll get 30 answers. But ask about a powder and there's only one they all approve. New system.